With lots of AI diffusion models coming out, things are becoming more interesting as AI diffusion models are taking the next 3D logical step. The next phase of AI diffusion is coming in strong with a good level of character motion generation via text-driven commands. We've all had a first-hand experience of text-to-image generation, a tease of AI-generated 3D models from text and images from Google Research, UC Berkeley, and NVIDIA. But this new diffusion model generation is bringing animation to the table, introducing the motion diffuse and the human motion diffusion model. Motion Diffuse is a text-driven motion generation with diffusion model. The goal behind this is to remove the skill barrier for laymen as recent motion generation can directly generate human motions conditioned on natural languages. However, this remains challenging to achieve diverse and fine-grained motion generation with various text input. And to address this problem, the folks at S-Lab Nanyang Technological University and SenseTime China are proposing Motion Diffuse. Motion Diffuse is considered to be the first diffusion model-based text-driven motion generation framework. And and this has demonstrated several desired properties over existing methods. This offers probabilistic mapping, which is favored over deterministic language motion mapping, and this allows motion diffuse to generate motion through a series of denoising steps in which variations are injected. It also offers realistic synthesis, which models complicated data distribution and generates vivid motion sequences. And finally, a multi-level manipulation for fine-grained response to body path instruction and arbitrary length synthesis with time-varied text prompts. Motion Diffuse is currently set to outperform existing state-of-the-art method by convincing margins on text-driven motion generation and action-conditioned motion generation. A qualitative analysis further demonstrates Motion Diffuse controllability for comprehensive motion generation. And this simply means that creators can generate motion by simply using text and also condition how this motion gets generated by placing a couple of action-based keywords for the motion. And to extract text features, the input data first passes through an embedded layer to get the embedded features from the raw text and then is further processed by a series of transformer blocks. Each block contains two components which includes the MHA which is the multi-head attention model and the FFN which is the feed forward network. This alongside with a reverse process is how we get the output which can either be in 2D or as a cloud data. And with the look of things, this currently generates motion models that deals with skeletal amateurs. And I do believe that the final output would either be a BVH or an FBX file. The results that we can see have very good fidelity and they are nice looking with little to no fit sliding. And this is quite similar to MDM. MDM is a diffusion-based model for human motion generation. This is considered to be a flexible framework that delivers a diverse set of motions and ease of control for creators. Made available by the folks at Tel Aviv University, Israel, the human motion diffusion model makes use of two datasets as compared to what we get with the motion diffusion that actually works with four different datasets and having the human ML3D as the only unique dataset that connects these two. This is also very similar to the previous diffusion model that we just mentioned and this framework also enables generic design enabling different forms of conditioning. As showcased, this has three different tasks which it makes use of to generate motions, text to motion, action to motion, and unconditioned generation. This in turn gives creators options to make generations to how they would like to generate their own motions while maintaining a good motion quality with global positioning and foot contact. MDM also supports varying results to a single prompt. As we can see here, a person skipping rope gives multiple options to a single motion. This is very necessary as there is never one particular form to describe a motion in real life. These motions can later be cleaned and retargeted to a given model depending on what the user actually wants. MDM combines the fusion model with well-established insights from the human motion field to deliver high quality performance in terms of motion generation. And in comparison to previous models, you can see that we have varying results to a particular prompt. And something else which also makes MDM shine even more is the transformer-based diffusion model. MDM uses a transformer-based diffusion model that predicts the actual sample instead of the added noise per step. And when you compare this to other approaches, you can literally tell the difference. The MDM model is trained in a classifier-free manner, which enables trading of diversity to fidelity and sampling both conditionally and unconditionally from the same model. And what this means is at certain times, you can give certain descriptions to the model and that can automatically adjust as the motion proceeds. 
In the text to motion task, MDM generates coherent motions that achieve state of the art results like that of the human ML3D. And for those wondering what the human ML3D is, this is a generative, diverse, and natural 3D motion from text created by the folks at the University of Alberta, Canada. This consists of 14,000 plus human motions, and each are paired between three to four descriptions, which already is a whole lot of motions to work with. The human ML3D alongside the kit benchmark are the yardstick of measurements for MDM. It's also worth mentioning that MDM supports editing, which actually comes in form of predicting the behavior of a certain body part while keeping the rest of the body fixed. This can be done temporarily as certain frames in a sequence can be fixed and the rest can be predicted with a condition and this can happen as it is all within an in-between motion process. And for those who like to take a look at this or probably you want to take a look at the source code which is now released and available on github i'm gonna put a link in the description that will bring you right here and with all these tools developing at this rate in the coming months we would most likely start generating layouts cameras lighting conditions and fixtures and that would start pushing for an interesting ton of events and possibilities of creating 3d animations or 3d scenes with high fidelity with a single text and as we've seen before nvidia get 3d and also dream fusion can already create 3D models either by simply using simple text description or by imputing a single image to generate 3D models. Alongside motion diffusion models like this, we may potentially start getting lifelike characters with given motion description and with possibilities like that, the genre for AI 3D generated content might just become a thing. Furthermore, if you're into motion capture and you would like to grab some free motion capture files for your animation or your film project, of course you can. Carnegie Mellon University aka CG Speed have a huge set of motion library that you can totally get BVH and FBX motions from. Bydam Namco is also one that we've covered on the channel before, so just in case you're looking for free motion capture files, you can go ahead and grab that. Revolution's Actor Core does have some very nice free motion capture files that you can get. And finally, you might also want to consider checking out Mixamo as they also have free motion capture files that you might want to consider checking out. So this is more like it. For those who like to take a look at all of this that we've talked about, Links are going to be in the description, so do well to check them out. AI Motion Diffusion is here, and this might definitely change the way you start creating your own 3D motions or doing your next motion capture. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll like see you guys in the next one. Peace.